Guys? Not out. Donovan will be close. Uh, it'll be hard for him to make it, but we'll see. The rest of the guys we'll see on Sunday. He's in play by a small margin, but, you know, we'll see on Sunday. If I had to guess, I'd say he wouldn't. Won the last six regular season uh, games against the Bucks, dating back to your first season as defensive coordinator. Can you talk about the importance of reinstating this rivalry with the Saints coming into Sunday's game? Well, it's week two. We want to win the game. Number one. Number two. It's a rivalry. You always want to beat your division, and it's always going to be a tough ball game. But we're trying to get a win. You know, it's not exacting revenge or anything else. We need that to get to where we got to go. So. You know, it's not a rivalry right now. They've beaten us, like you said, six straight times. In order for us to make it a rivalry, we're going to have to try and win a few times. So, you know, but it's just important for us to win the ball game. Coach, there's been a lot of talk about Poke and uh, what he's done as a blocker. Um, some people are saying it's bringing back the fullback, but, you know, he lined up at tight end as well. Uh, can you just speak to the versatility of what he's brought to this team so far? He's an old school football player. He works hard. He can play fullback, tight end. He can play the F or the U position as well. He does a lot of things for us. He's good on teams. He can catch the ball actually too. So you had not seen his receiving skills yet, but he's a hard nosed, tough guy that comes to work every day and tries to get better. He's always out before practice, trying to stretch and warm up and do things that he needs to work on. And he's been a joy to coach. Your confidence with the receivers and their health. Right now, would you think you don't need to elevate a receiver from practice squad? You're okay with what you have on the three? You know, we'll wait and see as time goes on. I can't say that for sure, you know, but we'll monitor the situation and hopefully we'll see. You've got the oldest roster in the NFL. Um, you know, there are guys that don't practice all the time, right? Uh, do you, I mean, how much, how much important is practice? Does it vary on the player, or do you lose something if, if guys aren't out there during a the week with them? Have to show up on Sunday. No, for most players, it's important, but I think when you play in the league a certain amount of time and you prepare a certain way, it's not necessary to practice that guy all the time. You're going to practice, but you're not going to practice all the time. You'll get a day off here and there because it is a long season. When you announced the main captain last week, you mentioned you guys would wait and pick a special team captain. Have you done that yet? No, not yet. It's only been one game. Coach, on the road, a day back to last season, you've won. Bucks have won five in a row, including obviously last week. Uh, is there anything you could really point to as kind of a running theme for why you had so much success on the road? No, we just try to prepare. We try to go down anywhere we go, whether it's on the road or at home, and we try to come out with a win. How did you guys handle the crowd noise last week, and is this going to be a bigger thing? Do you practice out here with it anymore, or just feel like you've got that there? We still have practice and crowd noise. We know it's loud down there. We understand that, too, from going down there the past few years. But I think we'll function OK. The crowd shouldn't be a problem. Can you speak on the growth of Jameis Winston and, and what should be the focus of your defense going into this game? Well, Jameis has grown a great deal. To go in and learn another system and become a starting quarterback is outstanding in itself. To overcome injuries and work out the way he does and still come back and play and have success is outstanding. It says a lot about the person, the character, and what he does to train to get ready to play. And I don't think we prepare for Jameis. I think we prepare for the team. He's only one guy. If we prepare for him, the other 10 guys on offense are going to kill us. So. We're trying to prepare to play a complete team, and they are a complete team, and we'll go that way. Anything else? Good. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom.